Wayne Shorter is no longer with us. It really hurts for me, especially because last week I also, you know, knew about that my main teacher, who was like a really big lover of Wayne Shorter music, he also passed away. Let's talk a little bit about Wayne Shorted and I'm pretty sure that after this video you're gonna consider him one of your heroes too. You can perceive yourself as a different musician and you can see things maybe like from a different perspective. One of the biggest things that I noticed you know right away when I listen to Wayne Shorter is that his tone is very similar to his voice. This is one of those things that made a big impact on my life. The fact of knowing that he, in one of interviews, he said that you should play the saxophone the same way that you want the world to be. For someone who doesn't know Wayne's career, they may think like this is just a cliche. But it wasn't a cliche. If you listen to his voice, you know, and if you listen to his life, if you know about his life, all the suffer that he had, you know, how he lost, you know, part of his family, before a concert, a lot of things that happened to Wayne, you're gonna notice that he was a peaceful man who honestly wanted the best for the world. And he did it, you know, through his music. When you listen to one of his songs, for example, Oriental, Oriental folk song, when you listen to that song, you're gonna notice the change in the harmony. And you can notice on the Lee Morgan's solo that he's playing over the change. But when you listen to the first solo, which is Wayne's solo, he's always gonna be playing on A minor. La de do mi. He's always playing on that key because he's respecting the title of the song. A few years ago, Branford Marsali was in Havana City, where I'm from, and he was doing a clinic and he was talking about Wayne Shorter. And he said that one of the beautiful things about Wayne is that he was able to play in the Coltrane's way, he was able to play in the Charlie Parker's way, he was able to say like, and now I decide to play like this. We are afraid about being ourselves. And yes, I know that, oh, you have to be original, that's a cliche, but you have to worry about it. You have to worry about, you know, sounding like yourself. You have to listen to your solos. You have to transcribe the things that you play so that way you're gonna know how to become a better musician. It's also good to mention that he was able to play like Coltrane because he knew a bunch of solos by Coltrane. To be original, to become an original person, you have to know what was before you. You have to know the music that was before you. In the 1964, Coltrane was doing a Love Supreme, but at the same time, Wayne was doing his album Night Dreamer. And actually, there is a lot of poetry if you think that right now he's living in the eternal dream. Let's put all the poetry away. At the same time, Sonny Rollins was already a legend. Dexter Gordon, another legend. Coleman Hawkins, Stan Getz. All these musicians, think about this. Joe Henderson at this time was recording Inner Orch. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Wayne was not the most virtuoso saxophone player, but he still knew that he had a message. He had a message for the future generation. He had a message for you and for me. Sometimes we are so hard in ourselves. And when I'm saying this, I'm not saying this because of you. I'm saying this because of me. I am so hard on me. Just becoming aware that you have a different voice and you have a message to say, is gonna save you and it's gonna make you a better musician. You don't have to be perfect. You know, I have a lot of recording of myself. I have a lot of recordings with my bands and I just don't put it out because I believe that are not good enough. You know, I don't like the way I play. I don't like the way I sound. And let me tell you what, when I started listening to Wayne Shorter, I didn't like the way he sound until I understand his voice, until I understand his philosophy, until I understand his music and connect with him. Don't be afraid about being yourself. Don't be afraid also about getting better and listening to yourself and learn from your mistakes. It's just this, you know, learn, make, repeat, you know, learn, make, repeat. I'm gonna keep doing the videos anyways, but yeah, it's really appreciated if you subscribe to the channel. Love you all guys, uh, you know, working on my English. <laughs> See you.